Right, all I have to do is find an animal that's been extinct for nearly 90 years. <laughs> How hard can that be? <laughs> Yoo-hoo, Tasmanian tigers. <gasps> There's one. Oh, it's just a rock. While I might not be having much luck, there have been plenty of people over the years who claim to have spotted a Tasmanian tiger. Oh, congratulations, everyone. We've done it. The Tasmanian tiger, or thylacine if you're scientifically inclined, once roamed Australia some 3,000 years ago. By the time Europeans arrived, they were only found in Tasmania, which uh, makes you wonder if that's the reason why they're called Tasmanian tigers. But soon thylacine started disappearing in Tasmania too, because of things like habitat loss, disease and hunting. During the early 1900s, Tassie tigers were seen as a bit of a pest and were thought to be a threat to farmers' sheep. By the 1930s, this guy was the only one left. His name was Benjamin, and he lived in Hobart Zoo, where he died on the 7th of September 1936, when the species was declared extinct. Or so we thought. <laughs> Since then, there have been thousands of reported sightings of Tasmanian tigers, which got a group of scientists wondering, was Benjamin really the last one? Or have there been others out there that are perhaps too shy to stay out long enough for anyone to confirm that, yes, indeed, that is a Tasmanian tiger? There's always been discussion and debate as to whether it was truly the last thylacine or whether, in fact, uh, they continue to persist in the wild and for how long. This is Professor Barry Brook from the University of Tasmania. He's part of that group of scientists I just mentioned. They conducted a five-year study looking at the 1,237 sightings. We did that in an exhaustive way, looked through hundreds, even thousands of records, and we had to essentially evaluate how plausible those sightings were. Based on all the supposed sightings, he reckons there's actually a pretty good chance that the thylacine could have lived up into the 1980s and even the early 2000s. Oh. Oh. Although there's really no certain way of proving that without any sort of physical evidence, because while there might have been a whole bunch of people who say they saw one, that doesn't necessarily mean they're true. Oh, there's one! Oh, uh, uh, no it's not. We're not saying we've got the definite answer, we're saying here's all the evidence, here's our best guess at how to interpret it, and this is what it suggests. Professor Barry Brook also says there's a small chance Tassie tigers could still be around today, hiding in remote parts of the Tasmanian forest. Because it's not completely unusual for a species to pop up again many years later after being declared extinct. One of the most famous examples in Australia is the night parrot, which hadn't been seen for well over 80 years and then was rediscovered in the Australian desert. And there's probably many others like that. As for the Tassie tiger, well, who knows if there are any still out there. Ooh, ooh, there's one. Oh, it's just a stick. Huh. I wonder if I'd be better looking for Tasmanian tigers in Tasmania. <laughs> <laughs>